In theoretical computer science and mathematical logic a string rewriting system, historically called a semi-Thursday system, is the rewriting system over strings from a alphabet. Given a binary relation between fixed strings over the alphabet, called rewrite rules, denoted by an SRS extends the rewriting relation to all strings in which the left and right hand side of the rules appear as substrings, that is, where, and as strings. The notion of a semi-Thursday system essentially coincides with the presentation of the monoid. Thus they constitute a natural framework for solving the word problem for monoids and groups. An SRS can be defined directly as an abstract rewriting system. It can also be seen as a restricted kind of a term rewriting system. As a formalism, string rewriting systems are Turing complete. Thursday introduced this notion hoping to solve the word problem for finitely presented semi-groups. It wasn't until 1947 the problem was shown to be undecidable. This result was obtained independently by Emil Post and A. A. Markov, Jr. Definition A string rewriting system or semi-Thursday system is a tuple where sigma is an alphabet, usually assumed finite. The elements of the set of finite strings on sigma, sometimes called words in formal languages, we will simply call them strings here. R is a binary relation on strings from sigma, i.e., each element is called a rule and is usually written. If the relation R is symmetric, then the system is called a Thursday system. The rewriting rules in R can be naturally extended to other strings in by allowing substrings to be rewritten according to R. More formally, the one-step rewriting relation relation induced by R on for any strings, if and only if there exists such that, and, since is a relation on, the pair fits the definition of an abstract rewriting system. Obviously R is a subset of, some authors use a different notation for the arrow in in order to distinguish it from A itself sequence of strings produced by starting with the initial string and repeatedly rewriting it by making one substring replacement at a time. A zero or more steps rewriting like this is captured by the reflexive transitive closure of denoted by this is called the rewriting relation or reduction relation on induced by R. Thursday congruence. In general, the set of strings on an alphabet forms a free monoid together with the binary operation of string concatenation. In a SRS, the reduction relation is compatible with the monoid operation, meaning that implies for all strings. Since is by definition a preorder, forms a preordered monoid. Similarly, the reflexive transitive symmetric closure of denoted is a congruence, meaning it is an equivalence relation and it is also compatible with string concatenation. The relation is called the Thursday congruence generated by R. In a Thursday system, i.e., if R is symmetric, the rewrite relation coincides with the Thursday congruence. Factor monoid and monoid presentations since is a congruence, we can define the fact immanoid of the free monoid by the Thursday congruence in the usual manner. If immanoid is isomorphic with then the semi-Thursday system is called immanoid presentation of, we immediately get some very useful connections with other areas of algebra. For example, the alphabet A, B, with the rules ab epsilon, bar epsilon, where epsilon is the empty string is a presentation of the free group on one generator. If instead the rules are just ab epsilon, then we obtain a presentation of the bicyclic monoid. The importance of semi-Thursday systems as presentation of monoids is made stronger by the following theorem. Every monoid has a presentation of the form, thus it may be always be presented by a semi-Thursday system, possibly over an infinite alphabet. In this context, the set is called the set of generators of, and is called the set of defining relations. We can immediately classify monoids based on the presentation. Is called finitely generated if is finite, finitely presented if both are finite. The word problem for semi-Thursday systems. The word problem for semi-Thursday systems can be stated as follows. 
given a semi-Thursday system and two words, can be transformed into by applying rules from. This problem is undecidable, i.e., there is no general algorithm for solving this problem. This even holds if we limit the input to finite systems. Martin Davis offers the lay reader a two-page proof in his article, What is a Computation, pp. 258 to 259 with commentary p. 257. Davis casts the proof in this manner. Invent a word problem whose solution would lead to a solution to the halting problem connections with other notions. A semi-Thursday system is also a term rewriting system, one that has monadic words ending in the same variable as left and right hand side terms, e.g., a term rule is equivalent with the string rule. A semi-Thursday system is also a special type of postcanonical system, but every postcanonical system can also be reduced to an SRS. Both formalism are Turing complete, and thus equivalent to Noam Chomsky's unrestricted grammars, which are sometimes called semi-Thursday grammars. A formal grammar only differs from a semi-Thursday system by the separation of the alphabet in terminals and non-terminals, and the fixation of a starting symbol amongst non-terminals. A minority of authors actually define a semi-Thursday system as a triple, where is called the set of axioms. Under this generative definition of semi-Thursday system, an unrestricted grammar is just a semi-Thursday system with a single axiom in which one partitions the alphabet in terminals and non-terminals, and makes the axiom a non-terminal. The simple artifice of partitioning the alphabet in terminals and non-terminals is a powerful one. It allows the definition of the Chomsky hierarchy, based on what combination of terminals and non-terminals rules contain. This was a crucial development in the theory of formal languages. History and importance Semi-Thursday systems were developed as part of a program to add additional constructs to logic, so as to create systems such as propositional logic. The hope was that the act of theorem proving could then be reduced to a set of defined manipulations on a set of strings. It was subsequently realized that semi-Thursday systems are isomorphic to unrestricted grammars, which in turn are known to be isomorphic to Turing machines. This method of research succeeded and now computers can be used to verify the proofs of mathematical and logical theorems. At the suggestion of Alonzo Church, Emile Post in a paper, published in 1947, first proved a certain problem a Thursday to be unsolvable. What Martin Davis states is, dot the first unsolvability proof for a problem from classical mathematics, in this case the word problem for semi-groups, Davis, Ibbard, asserts that the proof was offered independently by A. A. Markov A. C. A. D. Psi, USSR, 55 pp, 583-586.